Hello Aquarius, I'm here to give you insight for the month of April. So let's see what the potential main energies are for you guys. Trust issues popped out. So you can have some trust issues or somebody has trust issues when it comes to you. <sighs> Hopefully this reading is not going to be long like Virgo's. Jealousy. So you're dealing with somebody who is jealous. Okay, you could be jealous. Or somebody could be jealous of you. Okay. I was hearing jealousy issues. I was hearing inconsistent. Somebody could be inconsistent, and this is this is why they become jealous. Escape artist. So somebody sees you as an escape artist, Aquarius, or you see someone as an escape artist. I was hearing passing the buck. Okay. This could be somebody who push responsibility onto other people, or somebody who has avoidant behavior. They don't like dealing with conflict or anything okay somebody could see you as such trauma so you could be dealing with some trauma or the person you're dealing with is dealing with trauma maybe you've been put through trauma or experienced trauma or somebody sees you as putting them through trauma only physical so you could be in a connection that's only physical only based on sex or um, like physical needs or something, or somebody could be with you in that way. Toxic. Okay, so you could be in a toxic relationship, or somebody sees you as toxic, or you see someone as toxic. All right, this is crazy. All right, and then 555. Five, five. So major changes taking place for you, Aquarius. Okay. Or you're experiencing or seeing somebody... Um, go through some major changes. Okay, what are we going to use? Oh, I wanted to use my crystal oracle deck. <clears throat> Let's see what messages the crystals have for you, Aquarius. Speak to Aquarius. What's going on with, Aquari with Aquarius in the month of April? All right, we got joy, but it was in the reverse, and I don't read reversals, but there could be a blocking your joy at this time. If that's not the case, you're encouraged to focus on joy happiness i was hearing being satisfied some of you are not really satisfied with what you have all right i feel like some of you could achieve certain goals or you make things happen for yourself but then you kind of get bored or you kind of i don't know your joy is taken away i was hearing an, an adrenaline adrenaline junkie so somebody is an adrenaline junkie they're always searching for happiness like dopamine high you know but they're not good at kind of sitting and being happy with what they do have being present it's like an energy of that others of you it's not the case you're experiencing joy and happiness all right relationship healing so that is a focus for you or there's a need for you to heal relationships could have been relationships from your past within your family your interpersonal relationship, romantic relationship, whatever. Okay, there's a need for relationship healing because I feel like this is stealing your joy or somebody's joy is being taken from them because there is maybe a block in uh, healing the relationship. There's a strong energy of somebody really wanting to heal a relationship and feel secure within their relationship. I was hearing, I want to feel taken care of. I want to feel supported. It's like an energy of that. It could be you or the person you're dealing with. I don't know. All right. Forgiveness. Wow. So there is a need for forgiveness here, whether that be you forgiving Aquarius or the person you're dealing with is needing to forgive you here. 
I was hearing it's hard to forgive. So somebody is feeling as though it's hard to forgive you or maybe it's hard for you to forgive this person. Uh, I was hearing self-forgiveness as well. So opal, morganite, pink tourmaline. These are beautiful. These are pink. So it's like um, heart chakra centered. The heart chakra is the center of compassion and love. And then joy. It's, you know, it looks kind of orange. So your sacred chakra. Pleasure, sexuality, your creativity, emotions. What else? What else we got for Aquarius? Three more cards. <laughs> All right. So we got flexibility. So maybe you're needing to be a little bit more flexible. I was hearing there's somebody who's bullheaded, who's kind of rough around the edges. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. You are a fixed sign, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, a Taurus. Um... um uh, did I see all of it? Yeah. I think I did. Mm -hmm. So you need to be a little bit more flexible. All right. I was also hearing mutable. So, you know, be willing to change. Okay. Because mutable energy is changeable. Okay. But it's not impulsive. It's changeable, but flexible at the same time. So th there is a need for you to be a little bit more flexible. Um, I was hearing considerate, seeing both sides of the situation, understanding as well. This is strong energy of emotional intelligence that you're needing to have, or you could be gaining this. Some of you, if this is not encouragement, some of you are already in this energy. You're healing your relationships. You're being more flexible. You're seeing the bigger picture, seeing what others are coming from. You're forgiving. I mean, you're really... Um, evolving that's for some of you self-love so you're needing to love yourself okay Aquarius you need to love yourself because if you're unable to love yourself how in the hell are you going to love others how are you going to be able to heal your relationships how are you going to be an active and functioning member of your relationship if you cannot love yourself okay you got to love yourself Okay, and grounding. You need to ground your energy. Some of you could be flying off by the seat of your pants. Like, this is the energy of somebody who gets upset very easily. And they kind of throw a tantrum, you know. They just, I don't know. And it's like an energy of, like, if you ask this person a question, it's like they just flap the handle. Like, they're just, they kind of lose it here. Okay, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Okay. Um, but if this is not the case, it's encouragement for you to to ground your energy more, to feel more secure within yourself. This is like root chakra energy, so your sense of stability and security. Bottom of the deck is past life, so some of you are needing to do some past life work. Heal from your past life. Okay. Um, 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 Aquarius. Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius in the month of April? Aquarius. Aquarius. Yes. Yes. So maybe you're needing to say yes. <laughs> All right. Um, it says, yes, you are more than just a star. You are the galaxy. All right. I feel like some of you could be feeling a lot during this month. You're also in observant mode here. You're observing a lot. I was hearing you're expanding your awareness here. I was hearing take a look at yourself. Discoveries ahead. So you're definitely on a journey. I feel like some of you are um, ready to embark on a new journey. You're ready to take over the world even. Um, I was hearing traveling as well. Um, you're discovering... I don't know, I was hearing the song A Whole New World. Isn't that by Aladdin? <sighs> oh yeah, the movie Aladdin, excuse me. Oh gosh, I should go to bed. Um But yeah, it's like a whole new world. Um this is exploration. It says all truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. So maybe you're needing to discover the truth or not be afraid of the truth. 
All right, discoveries are had. Maybe you're discovering something or maybe someone's discovering something about you, okay? Somebody is watching. You may feel like somebody could be watching or they could be observing you, you know? There is an energy of somebody having awareness, being very aware. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with, being very aware of you maybe. All right, almost there. Oh, what? Okay. So this is the energy of like a climax, okay? So there's something that you could be working on or there's something that's like building up, okay? I was hearing when is it going to be over or this is intense anticipation of it being over or like a climax or something uh, completing here. It says patience is bitter, but it's the fruit, but, but its fruit is sweet. So it's kind of like an energy of like patience is a virtue here. So it's something like you're anticipating something, you're waiting for something, you know, but you're almost there. there, there like there is a climax ahead. There is a um, an ending or even a beginning of a new chapter I see here. Breathe. So you're needing to breathe. Some of you are needing to do some breath work, okay, especially if you have anxiety. So breath. If you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment. Live in the breath. So you're just needing to breathe. You're needing to just be in the moment, be present. I was hearing slow your roll, catch your breath. I was hearing you're doing too much. That's funny. We started with the first card, yes, and this card is nope. <laughs> nope, okay, so there's some prickly motherfuckers out there. There's some people out here that are prickly like a cactus. All right. Or you could be in an environment where it's just really uncomfortable and you're needing to breathe. OK, amidst this discomfort, whatever this is, because this is an energy of just feeling really uncomfortable. But you're needing to breathe through this. You're needing to um, I don't know why I kept hearing like pacing yourself like move through this energy like don't resist it so it says people trample over flowers yet only to embrace a cactus all right um so you know you could be doing this you could have a flower somebody who's like a flower in your life but you trample over that flower just to connect yourself with difficult situations or toxic people or toxic you know situations or things that are going to make you uncomfortable later on, okay? You could feel this way. You could feel like somebody's trampling over you just to attach themselves to something painful. Something that, you know, could potentially hurt them. Alright, but I do see that somebody's saying, nope, I don't want any part of that. Like, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, what else do we got? All right, you've been here before. So this is a strong energy of deja vu. Here's Saturn. Saturn's here. So you've been here before. So this is a situation that you've been in before or something similar, Aquarius. And so you're encouraged to learn the lesson here. To learn the lesson. Because, you know, Saturn is the planet of lessons. It's restriction, pessimism, and structure. So some of you are repeating the same cycles here and Saturn's trying to teach you something. Okay, 555 five, five came out. So this is a time for change. So it says you've been here before. The past is never where you think you left it, all right? There's an energy of somebody being triggered, and it's like having the same kind of responses and doing things over and over again, okay? And the same situations keep coming up over and over again because either this person hasn't healed from it or they haven't learned the lesson, all right? One or the other, okay? All right, what else do we got? What else do we got here? Okay, let's let's use the tarot. Let's just see what we got going on. All right. Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius? The month of April. Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius in the month of April? Month of April. All right, we got the two of swords. So some of you are maybe having an issue um, or maybe a, I was hearing a disagreement. You're trying to, I don't know, I was hearing negotiating as well. You're trying to meet eye to eye with somebody or have a meeting of the minds with someone, like getting on the same, um, getting on the same 
um, page with somebody um, but there seems to be like an opposition here there's a struggle here because there's a difference of ideas or concepts all right but there still is some similarity I think the similarity is the common interest that's the that's the only thing that is the same but there is like there's a different concept a different a mindset it's, it's like something different here though okay it's like something that's just what it is there's a common interest but there is a conflict in that common interest all right I was hearing counter offering what else we got for Aquarius I think this is moon and Libra all right, we got the sun here. So, uh, meaning of the minds, okay? <laughs> so, you go from struggling here to having a meeting of the minds to dancing here. So, someone um, is getting what they want. So, it could be you, Aquarius. Excuse me, you, Aquarius, or the person you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a, a Leo. Leo is your opposite sign. Or you could have Leo, Leo in your chart. You go from being at odds, being at a crossroads, to, um, you know, celebrating, to uh, enjoying, okay, to having success and victory here. I was... I got a vision of somebody um, like coming out of jail and like looking up at the sun like, wow, it's so bright. All right. So maybe, you know, somebody who's in jail who's coming out in April. You could be OK. The tower. <laughs> so definitely could be breaking free, breaking out. <laughs> All right. If that's not the case, I do see here. See this as a major change, um, shaking things up. I was hearing it was short-lived. So for some of you, this could have been like, you know, all good and dandy. It was a struggle. It was all good and dandy. And then, bam, here comes the tower. You know, the tower is Mars. It's action, desire, aggression here. So somebody could have took an, taken action or there was a blow up or some type of discovery. What is this tower energy here? What is this tower? What is this tower? What is this tower? The tower is the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Uh, okay. So this is some change. This is like a uh, major change that had taken place. But, um... It was meant to happen. I see here this change was this change take was take I came a fucking talk. This change has taken place because there was a need for more structure and more planning. You know what I mean? I was hearing that things were kind of like willy nilly. And so it's no longer like that. OK, because the Knight of Pentacles has a plan here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, I see here. Aries. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is just taking more practical steps forward. This is carefully planning. Um, I was hearing somebody could have ruined your plans. Okay. Or somebody feels like you ruined their plans in some type of way. What is going on? What? Knight of Cups here. So um, you're definitely following your heart, um, doing what you want to do, Aquarius. I was hearing enjoying life. You could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I was hearing somebody needs you. I was hearing somebody needs you, but there is an energy of somebody running the opposite opposite way. They're focused on, and I'm looking at the Knight of Pentacles, like they're focused on like practical matters. All right, but there is a Knight of Cups that is needing somebody. What is this Knight of Cups giving? I was hearing, I need you. I need you. The Wheel of Fortune. They need you because there were some changes that had taken place. 
and it could have been some sudden changes. This is Jupiter, the planet of expansion, optimism, and abundance. Or they need you because, you know, maybe you, I don't know. For some of you, maybe you're well off. Or maybe you are somebody who's abundant. Um, okay, this person could be a Sagittarius. They could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like I said. Strong Pisces energy because Jupiter uh, traditionally rules Pisces and uh, Sagittarius. Mm. I was hearing this person wants to grow with you, Aquarius. This person wants to grow with you, this Pisces. Strong Pisces because um, Knight of Cups is immutable sign a mutable water sign and pisces is mutable so this person wants to grow with you or there was some change here that that had taken place what was this change this change was the eight of cups somebody walked away um this is saturn and pisces here so somebody walked away because the relationship wasn't really going anywhere or it was kind of stuck all right Oh, there's just too much ups and downs and changes. So, so this is the energy of somebody walking away. Um, but there is somebody who still wants you or even still they still need you. Okay. What else is going on here? What else is going on? Okay, we got the moon. So the strong energy of... Cancer here or a mother figure. Um, this is intuition. So somebody followed their intuition or somebody had a gut feeling about something. Something wasn't really clear. Something wasn't really, I don't know. So I was hearing something was fishy. Strong Pisces energy here. What is the moon? The moon is a ten of swords. Yeah. So whatever this moon was, this is like being backstabbed in, in the dark or being... This is like, I don't know, this is, is a kind of a strong energy of manipulation here. This is Ten of Swords, so the Lord of Ruin. So this is unexpected ruin here. I was hearing you didn't see this coming. This could be you, Aquarius, or somebody else you're dealing with. But this is unexpected ruin here. Like this is a strong energy of not seeing it coming. What the hell is this Ten of Swords? I was hearing it's over. What is this Ten of Swords in the Moon? Marry these cards. Um, this is a strong energy of illusion, like, oh, I was hearing you thought you were going to be scot-free. Okay, the temperance. So temperance is uh, the ten of swords. So it could have been a Sagittarius that you were dealing with. I was hearing ratting you, ratting you out. That's weird. Um, this is, I don't know. What is the Ten of Swords? Ten of Swords is temperance. How is that? So the Ten of Swords is an ending. The temperance is healing. So something happened for a reason. And in return, it promoted healing. Or this is encouragement for you to heal. I was hearing stop playing games. So there is an energy of someone not wanting to play games anymore. Not, not wanting to deal with the unpredictability and just the being blindsided and all of that like they're wanting to heal they're wanting to do things fair okay it's the energy of that i see as well but yeah um i do see that you could have been backstabbed by a sagittarius even in some type of way um or somebody with th these energies. Um, what um, is... <sighs> mm, let's see. What else do we got going on? I don't know if I need any more clarification. What else do we got going on for Aquarius? We got the Hierophant. So some of you could be married to this person you're dealing with. I don't know why I was hearing disagreement. I was hearing, stop doing shit behind my back, okay? Um, the hair front can also represent a Taurus, so you could have Taurus in your chart or dealing with a Taurus. Um, this is a, I was hearing the commissioner's office. I don't know what is up with that. 
Um, this is an organization. This could be a religious group as well. Um, I don't know. I was hearing the law. Okay, so there could be a focus on that. What is that about? What is this Hierophant giving? The Hierophant is giving the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be married to a Taurus. Um, I was hearing, um, I, I took vows. Okay, this could be you could have Taurus in your chart or the person you're dealing with can have Taurus. It could be it could be definitely a queen, but the queen has somewhat of a masculine energy. Um, I was I don't know why I was hearing I'm married to the game. So you're married, somebody's married to someone or a situation that's going to be uh, beneficial to them. Okay, this could very well be a job here. All right. This could be an energy of getting a raise, leveling up here, I see. I was hearing an entrepreneur. Um, this is the energy of an influencer. So somebody could be an influencer. Can even be on social media or have like a, a mass following Aquarius. You could. Or just could be like a lot of clientele or people who depend on you. You could be desiring this. What else is going on with Aquarius? I was hearing that people that listen to you. Seven of Wands. You could be dealing with trolls too. Okay. Or your focus could be on a content creator, somebody that is in the spotlight, somebody that has following, or somebody that's successful at what they do. Um, but yeah, the Seven of Wands, I can see this as trolls. This is the Lord of Courage. Some of you are setting some healthy boundaries or encourage to set healthy boundaries. If that's not the case, there is a Leo Sagittarius Aries who's setting healthy boundaries with you. Um, I was hearing a cult following. Um, some of you Aquarius, it, it seems like some of you may have a cult, a cult following people that follow you or listen to you or influenced by you in some type of way here. And this is the energy of now I want to push them away. I want to keep like, <laughs> I want to push these people away. I want to set boundaries now. It's like an energy of that. That's for some of you, not all of you. Um... This can also, I'm getting an energy of a father figure as well. This is energy of somebody that you looked up to, or somebody, somebody looked up to you. What else is going on with Aquarius? Um, Ten of Wands, so Saturn and Sagittarius is here. A lot of Saturn energy, so there's a lot of karmic, some karmic situation is going on, Aquarius. Okay, you're dealing with some, some karmic stuff here. Mm, I was hearing doing it all by myself. You could be witnessing somebody do it all by themselves. The Ten of Wands is just a lot of pressure. So somebody could be putting a lot of pressure on you. Or you can be putting a lot of pressure on somebody. Saturn traditionally rules um, Aquarius. So it could be you. Nine of Wands here. I was hearing letting up. So some of you are, I was hearing pulling your weight. You're not backing down Aquarius. I, I feel like some of you are trying to protect what's yours. I was hearing under oath. Some of you could be under oath. Some of you took a vow. Some of you are holding on to a secret here. Or you're holding on to something that you will go to the grave with. You're not. Yes. <laughs> We've got the ace of swords here. This is the truth. Okay. Some of you are holding on to something like a secret or something and if it's not a secret it's like some information that you would take to you to, to the grave like you're not you would not um release this information or <laughs> i don't know why i was hearing this i was hearing speaking from the grave like some there it could be an aquarius maybe who has passed on who's wanting to speak up and to express how they truly feel um, if that's not the case here, um, I just see this as you seeking the truth, you standing, um, on the truth, you're cutting out obstacles or cutting out distractions here. A lot of you are tired. You're, you're trying to protect what's yours, but you could be exhausted. So you're needing to set some healthy boundaries. And you're needing to not allow these trolls or these people to drain your energy. Like, just cut the bullshit. Like, 
right away. But I do see some of y'all are tired here. Okay. So there's somebody who could be trying to ruin your plans or whatever, sabotage your plans. Why is this person trying to sabotage Aquarius's plan? Or why is Aquarius trying to sabotage this person's plans? Like, okay, let's, let's just see. Let's look at it both ways. Why is this person trying to sabotage plans? What's the reason? What's the reason? What's the reason? Okay, because there are Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is mutable, so it could be Pisces. They're trying to sabotage the plans because the Eight of Wands. Um, they don't want you going after your dreams or having access to, to maybe other people or talking to other people or communicating or sharing with others. It's, it's, it's a controlling type of energy here. Okay. All right. And for some of you, you've worked really hard for this, whatever this is. Yeah, but there's a, just the energy of jealousy. Like there is somebody who wants your attention. They feel like they need all of your attention. Could be a Leo Sagittarius Aries as well. They just want your attention here. Um, hmm. Somebody could see you as such. Aquarius, trying to ruin their plans. Take it as it resonates. All right. Ooh, that was a long one. Okay. What else do we got here? Okay, let's let's sip a little tea. Aquarius, let's sip some tea. Let's sip some tea. What's the tea on Aquarius or surrounding Aquarius? What's the tea on Aquarius? Or surrounding Aquarius. Okay, taking notes and watching you on how you do it. So somebody could be taking notes. Okay, um, I, 